Welcome. The topic of this video is a question that keeps coming up. And the question is always, is Arch Linux Arch Linux or not? Yeah, that's the question that people often ask and I try to answer it on the website. It says here that Arch Linux has been built up with three parts. It's been built up with Arch Linux, it's built up with AUR packages and there are packages also from Arch Linux itself. That means, let's tackle the first one. The first logo means Arch Linux. It's a simple lightweight distribution and you have lots of information here and lots of packages. And we all use, and all is all the Arch based distributions use this bunch of files. We have a community. Let's not talk about the testing things. So that's for testing, obviously. So community, core, extra, and multilib. Those are the main repositories where we get our Lego parts. I call Arch Linux a big Lego, you know? You get your parts and you build it up. So you have this base installation, your Arch base, you could have a Debian base, you could have a Red Hat RPM based, etc. But this is a Arch based. And we all, we means Manjaro, Antergos, Arch Labs, any Arch based thing, will use the packages on Arch Linux. And then there is something else. Then there is this AUR, which is not Arch Linux anymore. AUR packages are user product produced content. Any used, any of the provided files is at your own risk. Meaning Arch Linux says, hey, it's great that you do this guys, but actually we don't support it. It's, 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 it's fun that you make these recipes that's how I call it, but uh, package builds is a technical name. And then you can get in Dropbox, you can get in Vivaldi, you can get in uh, any uh, Spotify, etc. Lots of tutorial, lots of uh, packages you get in, and you search for Vivaldi, for example, and then you find your package you like, or you say, I want to have Discord. Is Discord available on Linux? You go and check it out, and there's lots of possibilities here. So this is our second element that we put in Arco Linux. Basically, it's no longer Arch. And that's what I try to tell here. The elements from the AOR come from Debian, Red Hat, uh, GitHub's compressed files, etc., etc., etc. The source can be anything. And these wonderful people, which are called maintainers here, the volunteers who make scripts to be able to install something. And this is an example from a package build. So these guys maintain this here. And if something goes wrong, you can help him by saying flag package out of date. So he knows, hey, there is a change in, for instance, a version because they all, often they um, refer to some kind of version. Here you see the source. And if, this, if the source changes and he doesn't know about it, well, the package build won't work. So that's number two. So we have the AUR. And then last but not least, of course, we have also packages on Arco Linux. Meaning we have a GitHub on which everything is set here. We have packages how we define NeoFetch. We have packages how we want to see our bash RC. We have packages about open box, conf uh, open box configuration. So if you install Arch Linux out of the box, meaning arch way that means you follow actually my or other tutorials about how to install arch wiki the arch way this is the arch way for the bias older computer and for the ufi installation if you follow these installations you get this line here you get this arch installation the arch way no arco linux uh, necessary unless of course you say i would like to have parts of Arco Linux in my Arch system. And then it's so simple as to add our repos. And then you have also the wallpapers, for instance, the BSPWM uh, configuration, i3, awesome, etc. You can use our Arco Linux packages on an Arch Linux installation. Of course, we are based on Arch. So that's um, that's one GitHub, that's the GitHub where we have all these configurations. And there's also the Arco Linux D. 
and the D stands for to discover, to develop, to document, but you decide the desktop, desktop. Meaning you install in our view an Arco Linux D, and a D is a small ISO, or you install Arch Linux, the Arch way, this way, and then you say, okay, I'm gonna reuse scripts that Eric wrote and the team, don't forget the team. And we have here then an awesome or an Plasma or an Mate or an i3 that is installed either on Arco Linux D or installed on Arch Linux, since we still have always the same base in our systems. So I hope that clarifies a little bit um, why Arch Linux, of what Arch Linux is and what Arco Linux is. So it's a mixture of elements and making these three elements talk together for being uh, one whole makes Arch Linux Arch Linux. It's um, how we define ourselves by choosing packages from the Arch, deciding what to install from the AOR, and creating ourselves themes and configs, etc., etc. And that together makes up Arch Linux. I hope I made something clear here. All right, cheers.